If you're a local service business owner and you haven't mastered the lead gen pyramid, then you're losing out on tons of customers. Before this looks too complicated and you click away, you don't need a PhD in marketing to understand how this works. I've been working with hundreds of contractors for multiple years on their marketing, and I've come up with this really simple to understand strategy and framework for local lead generation that works for all local service businesses across the entire world. If you found this video to be valuable, please like, subscribe. Most of you watching this aren't subscribed and that's just fine, but it really helps this channel to hit the subscribe button. And if you think you know somebody that could benefit from watching this video, share it with them and help me spread the word. Level one of the pyramid is your organic online presence. We call this the foundational marketing system because that's how we've packaged these things together. We have your Google business listing, your website, and together these make up your general online presence on Google. So why Google? Because Google is where everybody's going to find local service businesses. So if you wanna be found by people who are looking for you, you have to be found on Google. Everybody knows that, everybody uses Google. That's why it's foundational and that's why it's at the bottom here. And I wanna direct your attention to the hot and cold meter over here. So as you work your way up through this pyramid, your leads get colder. That means cold leads, they don't know who you are, they don't trust you. They're gonna take a lot more work for you to turn them into a paying customer. On the hot end of the spectrum, we've all heard of the word, the term hot leads. These are people who have their checkbook out. They're just waiting for you to tell them how much to put on the check so they can sign it and give it to you. These people are ready to pay you. So at the foundation, at the bottom, when you people are finding you organically on Google, they are about as close to the perfect lead as you can get because they found you on their own, which means they looked through a bunch of different companies. They probably found you on Google business listing first, that's Google Maps. They read your reviews, they looked at your photos, they clicked onto your website, they confirmed you do what they want where they want it, and they know who you are, hopefully because your website shows them who you are, tells them about you, has some pictures, maybe even some videos. And these people have looked at you and they've compared you to other service businesses in your area and they've decided they wanna work with you. So by the time they become a lead, they're about as close to a referral as you can get. It's somebody that feels like they have dug through the haystack and they found the golden needle. You're the golden needle, they found you on their own. Once we have this working for us and everything's maxed out, that's when we start moving our way up the pyramid. And typically the next option is advertising with platforms such as Google local service ads, Google ads and Facebook ads. There's more places to advertise, but these are the main ones. Local service ads is somewhat new. It's really come around over the last 12 months or so. And what it does is it takes your Google business listing with your reviews and your photos, and it allows you to plop that thing right on top of the Google search. So it becomes the very first thing that people see. And if you've seen my video about the Google funnel or the Google filter, you'll know that the local service ads are capturing people right off the top before they're able to even see websites and Google ads and other things that are found on Google. Google's really pushing people to these local service ads, which is good for you because if you have a good organic presence, it's only one more step to, to pay a little bit of money and get that awesome presence being shown to more people. We also have Google ads. This used to be called Google AdWords. So this is your typical pay to play, Sit, tell Google you'll pay them every time someone clicks on your ad and you can put just about any ad you want at the top of the screen. It doesn't have the reviews though, so it, those don't get nearly as much attention as the local service ads. We've got Facebook ads here as well. Facebook ads are not the right fit for most contractors, but for the ones where who it is a good fit, Facebook ads works phenomenally. It's extremely high, high ROI if you do it right. And as we work our way up the pyramid, we're getting to less desirable things to do. That's why the foundation is where we start because this is where you wanna be. If you're trying to advertise, like you can't even do local service ads if you don't have a Google listing. So that's out. If you're running Google ads without a good website, you're gonna be wasting tons of money there. Same with Facebook ads. If someone finds you on Facebook, they're gonna go look for you online. If you don't have any kind of online presence, 
half of them are gonna just disregard you. So you wanna start at the bottom, work your way up. Once, if you're doing these forms of advertising and you're maxing them out, only then would I ever even consider buying leads from companies like Angie Leads, Angie's List, Howes, Yelp. These are big corporations who make a lot of money from doing this and doing this and then charging you a premium to reap the rewards, which is leads. So they spend a lot of money on advertising. They spend a lot of money having a stronger online presence than you do so that they can capture all of these leads and then mark them up and sell them to you. So this is at the end because if you're not maxing out all this other stuff, you really have no business buying leads that are extremely cold. It'll take 20 leads to get a sale or more. And it's just very difficult to make sales when you're up in this area. The only time to do that is when you're already maxing out everything you have. So I would ask, where do you fall on the pyramid right now? Do you have a really solid website? Does it have pictures of you? Does it accurately describe all of the different types of customers that you would get, all the different types of services that you offer? Do you have a Google business listing? Do you have any reviews on there? When you search for your service in your area, who shows up? Do you show up? Who is showing up next to you? Who has the most reviews? If you have 10 reviews and your competitors have 100, you're not gonna get very much attention. If you're not even showing up there, then it doesn't matter how many reviews you have. So you really, you wanna get that stuff set up if you don't. If you have all this stuff working for you, you're already getting organic leads, it's consistent, your website looks great, you feel like you have a good online presence, then I would start considering doing the advertising. Local service ads is where I would start because it's, it's borrowing a lot of the reputation that comes from your Google business listing, which is kind of the most trustworthy part of Google when it comes to local businesses. So those are really good options and I just work my way up. Um, if you need help figuring out what to do, that's what we're here for. There's a link in the description of this video. You can sign up and apply for a phone call with someone on my team, and they're happy to take a look at this pyramid with you, figure out where you are on it, and help advise you on what your options are. If you're not ready to talk to anybody yet, we have a playlist on my YouTube channel where you can go and watch a series of videos related to this lead gen pyramid and help you fill out your knowledge of this topic so you can just have a lay of the land and a better idea of what to do and maybe even why things worked or didn't work in the past.